Today, I'll show you how I use Kling AI and ChatGPT to create cinematic videos from AI-generated images. But first, let me show you what I've created. you will get better results if you start with an image. Generate an image using your favorite AI generator. However, to achieve more cinematic results, you need to prompt the image in a way that enhances its cinematic quality. Start with a clear vision of the scene. Think about elements like environment, lighting, and overall atmosphere as if you're framing a movie still. Focus on what stands out in a cinematic shot. Dramatic lighting, textures, depth, and storytelling. Describe with rich details. Break down each component of the scene, environment, main subject, action, or positioning. Use visual language to describe texture and where. Describe the surface to add realism. Uh, for example, instead of simply saying armor, describe it as rugged metallic armor with signs of wear from past battles. Leverage lighting and, and color tone to shape the mood by using high contrast, slight desaturation, soft glow, or muted tones, while incorporating subtle color variations like rust red or muted purple, and adding atmospheric elements such as dust clouds, soft shadows, or light glow for depth and immersion. And focus on depth and scale by describing background elements fading into dust or distant structures contrasting with close-up details using phrases like towering canyon walls, vastness of space, or a small outpost against a large canyon. Emphasize movement and atmosphere by using dynamic language like dust swirling, faint thruster glow, or charging forward through the haze to convey energy and bring the scene to life. Use cinematic terms and descriptive adjectives like rugged, weathered, gritty, worn, and textured for realism. Soft glow, high contrast, muted and faint for lighting, vast, towering, and expansive for scale and hovering, charging, gliding, and swirling for action. Use this template to structure prompts, starting with either the setting or the subject, depending on the image. Begin with the environment or background, then describe the main object or character, followed by specific textures, colors, and conditions, and finish with lighting, color tone, and environmental effects to set the atmosphere. Enough theory. Uh, let's see a practical example. Um, for this image, I used a detailed prompt uh, that gave me exactly what I needed. You may have noticed that I used the same ship in multiple videos. So I used Photoshop to cut out the view and leave only the ship interior with a transparent background. Um, after that, I generated the planet and placed the ship interior on top. I adjusted the colors in Photoshop to match, and that's how I got the uh, view of the planet from inside the ship, which helps maintain image consistency across different videos. Uh, for this image, I used Photoshop to place my logo on the flag. It's a, a, a nice way to add some customization to your video and branding. I did the same for the door, including the one at the end of the video. You can get better prompts with the help of ChatGPT. So let's give it a try. I am using this simple formula to create prompts for stable diffusion, but it works with any AI generator. As you can see, it gave me a nice detailed prompt. After reading the prompt, you can tell ChatGPT what to do next. If you don't like how it made the scene, you can ask it to, for example, make the woman wear a helmet, and ChatGPT will adapt the prompt for you. Maybe you want to change the environment to something different, giving you a lot of freedom. You can get a new prompt in just a few seconds. Just ask for the details I mentioned earlier that make it more cinematic. Once you like a prompt, you can copy and paste it into your favorite AI generator, or you can even ask ChatGPT to generate one for you. But usually the images from ChatGPT aren't as realistic. That's why I use Comfy UI with the Flux Dev model. 
which has a few nodes that upscale the image. I talk about upscaling on my main YouTube channel called Pixaroma. I add the prompt and run the workflow and I get a small image. If it's okay, I let it continue. If not, I can cancel and try another image. The result is this image. I forgot to change some steps, so it's a little blurry, but on the second seed, I got this. As you can see, it's important to get good images that look sharp, clear, and realistic. I usually make the images either in full HD or 2K. So if I compare it with the ChatGPT result, there's quite a difference. There's a little trick I use to make images look more cinematic in Photoshop. In this case, I combine the ship interior with the canyon view, but it could look more cinematic. What I do is add a curves layer and then create two points one here and one here. From the base, I pull it up to get that matte look. This helps remove some contrast from the shadows. Depending on how much black you have in the image, adjust by dragging this point down and raising the other point up. As you can see in the before and after, it blends better and looks a little more cinematic. Let me create a new chat and I'll show you how I do prompts for Clink. I am using this formula to create prompts for myself. As soon as I run it, it already gives me prompt suggestions. However, since I am using image to video in Kling, I want a prompt that fits my image. So why not use ChatGPT's vision capabilities for that? Let's copy the image and paste it into ChatGPT. And as soon as I press enter, I get a prompt for it. How cool is that? But let me show you how I created the video from the beginning. I uploaded the first image, the one with the planet, and ChatGPT suggested a prompt. It's important to use words like slow camera movement to avoid those hallucinations that AI tends to give, or at least to reduce them. As you can see here, the camera is moving slowly, but I don't want the camera to move to the window. I want the entire ship to move closer to the planet. So I asked ChatGPT to adapt the prompt for me. And now I get a better prompt just like I wanted. So I copy the prompt and go to the Kling website here, I click on the AI videos button, then on the image to video tab, I click to upload the image and then we have the prompt. There's also a little help that gives you more ideas for prompting with Kling. I'll paste the prompt that ChatGPT gave me. Then I use professional mode and for the duration, I choose either five or 10 seconds. Uh, if you need any negative prompts, you can add them here, click generate and wait for it to finish. It says here it takes eight minutes, so in that time, I will work on the prompt for the next image. As you can see, now it has the right camera movement in the prompt. So I use the same steps and add that to Kling as well. I'm doing the same for the rest of the images. Now for this one, it's a little tricky so i also added when i uploaded the images that i want the ship to land i continue adding them and creating prompts for the rest of the images for this one i also wanted to specify how i want the soldiers to move for the final door i want it to be in a certain way i want the door to open and show a tunnel when it's open so I mentioned that in the prompt and hope Kling will open the door for me. So I just finished uploading all the images and now the ones from the beginning are already ready. The first one looks good with a nice cinematic movement. I click on the download button and choose download without watermark since I have the premium version. For the title, I add number one to know it's the first scene, which will make it easier to arrange in CapCut later. The second scene looks good as well. The third scene looks okay too. The fourth scene also came out fine, so with the right prompt, you get fewer mistakes. Now this one is more difficult. Let's see what I got. It doesn't look like it's landing. I need to make another one and hope it understands it. So I click generate again. This one with the woman looks okay as well. Another difficult one since there are more people in the scene, but it came out okay. This one made a turn, which is interesting. Lots of motion. This one failed though and looks like it's going to crash, so I'll generate another one. The one with the flag and my logo came out really nice, beautiful motion in the flag. The final image with the door got the tunnel as I asked. 
and the door opened, so I'm happy with the result. For the second attempt of the ship, again, it's not landing, but I think I can fix it in post-processing if I reverse it. Um, let me download it and import it into CapCut to check. I drag it to the timeline, and when I play it, the ship is going up. So I click on the video and use the reverse button. Now, when I play it, it's in reverse. The dust direction isn't quite right, but it will work for this example. Uh, you can also go to speed and make the ship go faster, or you can make it go slower. You can also use the slow motion option, and I like to use optical flow for better quality. This way you can make videos move slower to get longer videos or faster to make them shorter and match with your music or voice. For the second version of this video, it's better it didn't crash the vehicle this time. I also use an image with cling text, the one from the intro, to get this short video. Now that I have all the videos and each scene has a number in the title, it's easy to select all and drag them into CapCut so they'll be in order. As you can see, it's all arranged. All I have to do is adjust the time for each scene so it matches with the sound. So this is the final video. On the first layer, I have all the videos. On the second layer, I have the music. And on the third and fourth layers, I have the sound effects. For the music, I used Suno AI in the instrumental mode with an epic cinematic prompt. I tried a few versions until one fit with my video, as you can see, in the music, there are portions where there's a spike in the sound. I try to place transitions at those spots so the scene changes when there's a drum hit or something similar in the music. For example, I made the transition here and also here when the ship lands. For the intro, you can see it has an effect, like it's warping and landing in front of the planet. For that, I selected the video and went to animation. Here, you have options for both in and out animations. For the in animation, I used one called pulse. Then for the transition, I used the pull in effect. So play around with effects, but try not to use too many. In this case, it helped make the ship seem like it was moving fast toward the next scene. And that's all for today. Leave a like and a comment if you found something useful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.